All right, this is our Power Race Spy Pen. It looks just like a pen, it writes like a pen, but inside is hidden a secret camera, and so it records videos. And so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to access the video files, play them, and delete them on a computer. This happens to be a Windows 10 PC laptop. So that's what these instructions are specifically for. If this is not your exact computer, just try to follow along and infer what's going on here. So you can hopefully learn how to use this pen with your specific computer and operating system. Now, I've already recorded some videos on here. If you don't know how to use your spy pen at all, look down in the, in the description below for the link, which will uh, take you to how to use this spy pen. But for now, we've already recorded videos, so I'm gonna show you how to access those videos. All right, for all you experts out there, I'm gonna show you the short version first, the quick version. Okay, this will be a really quick one or two minute video showing you how to access the files, play them, and delete them. So first we're gonna plug the pen into an open USB port. All right, we get a pop-up showing us our USB drive. And let's go ahead and open the video folder by double left clicking. And there's our video files. To play them, you just double click on any file. Double click on the first one. There we go, we're playing a video. All right, let's play the second video. And there it is. Now you'll notice I'm using VLC Media Player. VLC Media Player. Strongly recommend VLC Media Player. If you're playing your videos and you're getting a black screen or you're getting no audio, it's a codec problem on your computer, download VLC Media Player. I'll put a link down below in the description. Use that. Don't use Windows Media Player or QuickTime or any of those other canned players. Okay, so now we're looking at our, our uh, videos and they're in the video folder. So an easy way to copy them is just go over here in the left pane, right click on the video folder, and then left click on copy. Now all of this is in the computer's memory, ready to paste somewhere. Now we need somewhere to paste it. We wanna move it from the camera to our hard drive. Okay, so our hard drive is gonna be our C drive. Let's go ahead and left click on C. Now let's create a folder, left click on new folder, my pen videos, enter. And then let's go ahead and double left click and then right click anywhere in the blank spot and left click on paste. Okay, there they go. Copying, copying, copying. Again, if I'm going too fast, stay with the video because I'm gonna show you the long explanation the long explained version after this, okay, where I go into a lot of detail and I give you a lot of tips. Okay, there it is there. Now our videos are on our C drive on our computer. This is on our PC. And now, let's say we wanna delete the videos on our spy pen. We left click over here, go back over to our spy pen. And the easiest way to do it, just right click on the video folder and left click on delete on the pop-up menu that comes up. So we're left click, boom, delete, and yes. Left click on yes, and those videos are gone. Now we're all done, completely finished. If you want, go ahead and leave your pin plugged into the computer, it will charge it. Uh, uh, when it's fully charged, I believe it will be a solid blue LED when it's fully charged, okay? So now we just unplug, and we're pretty much done. Now we just screw the uh, pen part back on like this and stick it in our pocket or wherever, and we are now fully charged and we're ready to record more videos. Okay, now coming up next is the long version. Here we go. First thing you do is you unscrew the pen so that the USB port is exposed. Now before we start, here's a quick tip. I know that this pen comes with a USB cable. Yours might look a little bit different than this one, but basically the USB cable is used to plug the pen in one end and then you can plug the other end of the cord in your USB port. It gives you a little bit of length, that way you got some room to work with stuff. However, and in this case our, pen, our, our cable works, but some of these cables don't work. If you find out that you, you're plugging the pen in with the cable and you get nothing popping up and you can't find your files or, or folders, then don't use this, this cable. 
you don't need this cable at all. It's just extra. So for the next step, we're not going to use the cable. Next, you plug this by pin into your USB port. You can use any USB port. Usually you'll get a pop-up screen. If you don't, then don't worry about it. We'll get to that. But usually you'll get a pop-up screen showing that it's been recognized. Now this pop-up screen happens to be called Windows Explorer. And if this didn't pop up, let's pretend like it didn't pop up. Let's just close this. Let's pretend like you plugged your pen in and nothing happened. Well, you can still access that screen by going down here to the lower left start button, left clicking, and then in this search bar right here, just type in Explore. And I just typed in Explore. And it's called File Explorer. That's the name of that pop-up that we just saw, okay? So if you type in Explore down here, or Explorer, or just the first few letters, it'll come up here in your options. So now you can left-click on File Explorer. Now the difference between a left click and a right click on a laptop is this is the right mouse button and this is the left mouse button. Okay, so we're going to left click on File Explorer. And as you can see, we got the same pop-up window. However, some things have disappeared, but we can get those back. Right now, if you look at the left pane, we're looking at our quick access screen. But we don't want that. We want to scroll down. So I'm left clicking and I'm scrolling down to look for our USB device, which is right here. It happens to be called USB Drive F. On your computer, it might be called something different, okay? Now we're gonna left click again on USB Drive F. And now you can see that, now that we've selected that, those folders that we originally saw when we first plugged in are back, okay? So you're gonna see a few folders here. You're gonna see an audio folder. This is where audio only files would be stored. This is a photo folder. This is where uh, pictures that you take with the pen would be stored. And here's our video folder where videos would be stored. Now these are videos that are specifically taken with this spy pen. Now in order to access this video folder and play your files, you're going to hover your mouse over that folder, double left click. Now you can see I've recorded four videos with this spy pen. Now in order to play one of these videos, all I have to do is hover the mouse over that video and then on my computer, I double left click. So, click, click. <clears throat> okay, and there's a video. I'm gonna pause the video for a second. Pause. Now, as you can see, this video opened up in what's called VLC Media Player. I strongly recommend you use VLC Media Player for all of your video playing needs. Some people use QuickTime, other people use Microsoft Media Player, I don't like those programs. They're not as powerful and robust. VLC Media Player is by far the most robust and the best, most updated video player out there. It's free. It doesn't have any adware. It won't install any viruses on your computer. It won't do anything like that. It's completely harmless. I've been using this for 10, 15 years. And the best part is they always upgrade it. They are constantly on top of it constantly upgrading the codecs and the software so that it always plays the latest videos. If you play your video files and you find that you don't have audio or if you find that you're looking at a completely black screen, that's, it's probably a problem with your media player. So I don't recommend using QuickTime. I don't recommend using any of the canned Microsoft video players because honestly, Bill Gates is more, more concerned with selling operating systems than he is with updating his Windows media player. So use VLC media player, you can't go wrong, okay? So anyway, here's a video we're playing and we're playing it with VLC media player. Here's a quick tip. If you noticed, I double clicked in order to play it and it automatically played in VLC Media Player. If you don't want to use VLC Media Player, you can easily change the default program that a double click causes simply by going to any one of these video files and right clicking on it, this time using the right mouse button. We're going to right click on it and then we're going to scroll down to open with. Using this option, we can determine which player we use in the for now and in the future every time we double click and as you can see we can I, if I want to I can go back to Windows Media Player however selecting it from this screen 
will only open at one time. If you want to always open your videos with Windows Media Player, you go down to choose another app. I know this seems a little complicated and it kind of is. And then you left click on choose another app. Then when we get to this screen, it's going to ask, how do you want to open this file? And let's say, for example, I want to always open with Windows Media Player. First of all, go down here and check the box that says always use this app to open movie files. Okay? And then you select Windows Media Player. And you left click and watch what happens to these little icons. You see how they changed? And the video is playing. Okay, but let's go ahead and shut the video down for a second. I'm going to close the, win the window. But do you see how the little icons have changed? They've changed from the little, the little cone, which is the VLC media player icon, to a Windows media player icon. That tells you in advance that, hey, now when I open one of these files, it'll instead open in Windows media player. So now when I double left click, now it opens in... Windows Media Player. This is no longer VLC. It's now Windows Media Player, okay, which I don't like. I do not like Windows Media Player at all. Let's go ahead and pause this. There's no functionality up here. There's like nothing. It's like you can't do anything with it. The only thing you can do in Windows Media Player is play a video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I recommend you do, and that is if you open up your, your pen and you see that the icon over here is the Windows Media Player icon, I recommend you download VLC Media Player. I'll put a link in the description box below the video. And you install it on your computer. And then you come over to one of these files and you right click on it, okay, using the right mouse button. And then you go open with, and then you slide over here, and then you slide down. And don't select it right away. You can see it right here, but don't select that one because that just makes it play one time. We want to go to choose another app, which gives you more options. Then left click. And then we're going to go always use this app, okay, to open movie files. And then we're going to select which one we want to use every single time. We're going to left click here and then watch what happens to these icons again in the background when I click VLC Media Player. Oops, okay, I selected it and then I got to click OK. Boom. You see that really quick? Let's shut that down. You see how they, they switched back to these orange cones? The orange cones next to your movie files means that every time you double click, it'll automatically open in VLC Media Player. Now let's go ahead and watch one of these videos. Here's one. Let's double click on that one. You see how it's playing now in VLC Media Player? Now real quick, I'm going to show you some of the things you can do. You notice how on the Windows Media Player, how there's like nothing, there's no toolbar. Up here you've got tons of options. You can play DVDs, you can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, it has options for playback. You can even adjust the, the buttons down here. You can select which buttons you use. Uh, there's just tons of stuff. You can look at, here's one of my favorite, is you can look at the codec information. So we can left click on this and we can see the codec information of this video. So we can see it's an, it's an H.264 codec, uh, compressed with MPEG-4 AVC Part 10. Uh, it shows the resolution. This is the most important when I get customers that say, hey, this thing isn't really 1920 by 1080. Uh, well, it is. It actually shows it right here, 1920 by 1080. So that's the resolution. You, can, you, you can't see that stuff in Windows Media Player. It shows the frame rate, which is 30, which is excellent for a spy camera. A lot of them are lower than 30, but this one is 30 frames per second. So you, look in a, you can look at the general tab and you can adjust stuff, you can change stuff here, you can change who the artist is, you can do a lot of stuff. You can't do any of that in Windows Media Player. Download it, use it, it's the best, okay? So let's go ahead and we know how to play videos, okay? So now, now what we want to do is we want to learn how to move these videos from this pen device to our computer. We want to take the videos from here and stick them inside our computer so that they're more or less permanently stored and that way they're not taking up memory because this is all you know it has a 16 gigabyte memory and when the memory fills up you want to have room to to put more files and record more files on your pen so we're going to take all these video files these four video files we're going to take them from here and we're going to copy them to our computer and it's very easy to do you just select the first one and then you come down here to the last one and you go shift hold down shift left click again that selects all of them, okay? And then you right click in Windows, right click, 
and then you go copy, okay, and then you left click on copy. Then we're going to select a different place to put them. Let's put them on our C drive, okay? You see over here our C drive? Okay, your computer is going to have a C drive also. So I left clicked on our my C drive, and it happens to be named T1 blah, 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 whatever C, okay? The C drive on a laptop is almost always you can also you can move this back and forth by left clicking and dragging. So the C drive on your on your the hard drive on your computer on your laptop is normally going to be called the C drive, okay? So that's why I selected C drive and then I'm going to stick them over here somewhere. Uh, let's go ahead and just make a new folder. So I'm going to make a new folder. So I'm going to left click on new folder and I'm going to call it my pen videos. Okay, and then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, I just created a new folder on my C drive. Then I'm going to double click, double left click on that folder that I just created and you can see it's empty. Now I'm going to right click and then I'm going to click paste. So what I did is I just created a copy of all these videos and I copied them onto my internal hard drive on my computer, okay? So now there's a copy of them on my C drive. So anytime I want to find them, let me just close that, and anytime I want to find those videos now, I go over here to the start button, I type in explore, and I go up here and I left click on File Explorer. The actual name is File Explorer, okay? And I got to it by typing in Explore. And I left click on File Explorer, okay? And then I have to use the left pane over here to find them. Where are they at? They're in my C drive, remember? Remember I stuck them in my C drive? So I'm gonna select my C drive by hovering over it, left clicking on it, and then going over here to my pen videos. This is the file folder that I just created for my pen videos. And now when I double left click, boom, there's my file, safe and sound on my computer. I'll prove to you that they're safe and sound on my computer. Let's unplug the pen. We just unplug the pen, okay? So obviously the computer doesn't have access to the pen anymore. There's no connection. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just play one of these files. Okay, so you can see the files are now on my computer. Now. We forgot one step here. Since we move, since we since we made a copy of those files from here to here, they're still on the pen. What if we want to make room on the pen for new files? Well, we have to. We should first delete the four files that I just made. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and plug this in again, and we'll probably get the we'll get Windows File Explorer to pop up automatically, and it does. Again, if it doesn't, let's pretend like it didn't pop up. You would, you would basically be like, oh, where's my, how, how do I access this? I'm running through this again just to show you. So you go over here to start, your start button, you left click, and then you type in this box right here. You type in EXPL, and as you type in EXPL, you'll start getting options up above. And then in this case, we want to go to File Explorer, not Internet Explorer, File Explorer, left click, and there's our window. Now, where's our files? How come they're not here? Because right right now we have, have quick access selected. Okay, we need to go down here and we don't want to go into downloads. We don't want to go into music. Okay, we want to scroll down until we get to our USB drive. This is what we just plugged in. It's, no, it's called a USB drive. This is a USB drive. That's what it is. It's a USB external storage device. And as you can see, we also can see our file folders that are within it. Now, if you want, you can go directly to the video folder by left clicking on our video folder. Now, these files right here are on the pen. These aren't the ones that we just copied to the computer. These are the ones on the pen. How do I know that? Because we're looking under the USB drive, okay? So if you left click on USB drive, okay, we've got USB drive selected. Here's all of the all the stuff that's on the pen is right here, okay? This is all the files that are right on that pen right now. Now, before we delete these files, I'm going to show you a little trick you can use to find out how much of your storage space is used on your pen. Okay, and this is in Windows only. 
Okay, you go over here to your USB drive and you right click on it. And then you, in the menu that comes up, you go down to the bottom here where it says properties and you left click on properties. Now watch this, you get this cool little box that comes up and it shows your properties. Now right here it shows in blue how much used space there is and here's how much free space there is. So if you look here, it'll actually show a little ring showing how much is used. That little tiny little light blue segment, that's how much of our 16 gigabyte drive we've used with those four videos. Okay, so there's lots of storage space on 16 gigabytes, but let's say but let's say it was half used up. Let's say that this this light blue color extended all the way down to where three quarters of our memory was used up on our pen. In other words, this thing is three quarters full of video. Well, we want to delete those videos to make room for new ones, okay? So let's go ahead and cancel out of that. And how you delete your files is very easy. There's a number of way to, ways to do it. You can delete them one at a time. Like, let's say, oh, I don't want the third video. The third video on my pen, that one can go. It's not a very good video. So there's a number of ways to do it. You can select it, and then you can go up here and click delete by left clicking on delete and it will ask you do you want to permanently delete this file you say yes okay now it's gone so we go ahead and uh, close that and you can see the third video is gone another way to do it is to go let's say we want to delete the first video okay we go ahead and right click hover over it with the mouse then right click on it and then go down here to the menu and click delete. So we left click on delete. That's gonna ask you the same thing. Do you wanna delete it? Yes, we do. Now another way to do it, let's say you had a whole bunch of videos. Let's say you had 50 of them right here. You don't wanna go through and select each one and delete it. So the easiest thing to do is go over here again to your master list, I guess you could call it. Left click on USB drive, okay? Don't format it, because if you format it, you'll clear everything off, and you don't want to delete this file, and you don't want to delete this file. You really need those. If you accidentally delete these files, just contact me. I can give them to you again so you have them. Um, another note I want to say right now is this file happens to be 1080pg.exe. If it's different on yours, don't freak out. They change the name of this file all the time. This, this spy pen's been through like five revisions since we first started selling it. So if you have a different EXE file name right here, don't worry about it. Yours is fine, it's just the newer version probably. Okay, so back to what I was saying, an easier way to delete all the video files, just delete the whole folder. This is the whole entire folder right here, you can see the whole entire folder. Just right click on that, and then go down here and select delete, okay? So left click on delete. Okay, another way you can do it, let's just no, let's just say no. I'm gonna show you the other way. Go ahead, select it, okay? And then go up here to the menu bar up here and then left click on delete. Okay, it's gonna ask you the same. Do you wanna permanently delete it? Yeah, sure, why not? We've already got the copy saved on our computer. They're safe. We can delete the whole folder, okay? And then watch something cool. Let's just say you deleted those and you deleted uh, the photo. Let's say you had some photos on there and audio, let's just go ahead and delete that one too. Okay, let's just say you deleted all that. You're like, well, I need to put the folders back on. No, you don't. All you need to do is just unplug this and then plug it back in and they'll automatically appear. And there they are. Do you see how they automatically pop back up? Now you got your video folder back, your photo folder, and this audio folder. All right, so that's it for this video. Remember, other spy cameras might look similar and claim to have the same quality, but if you order from What A Deal by clicking the link in the description below or by visiting our website directly, you'll know exactly what you're gonna get. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media. Be sure to subscribe to What A Deal to see more of these try before you buy demo videos. And don't forget to turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. See you next time.